Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nicole. It is Thursday morning here in Los Angeles and it's finally feeling like fall. I've gone through my morning routine. I make my bed, I feed my dog and cat first thing, and then I open my blinds, make myself a coffee, I take my dog out, I then do my Jesus Calling daily devotional. I read it, sorry. And then I'll read a little bit of my Bible. So I stay grounded throughout the day. That tends to be my armor against, you know, the enemy. Um, and yeah, so coffee in the morning, definitely an essential for me. Um, I have recently decided to embark on a running challenge. Um, I created a four-week running challenge that I'll link below um, and also share it on my Instagram if you want to see and follow along with me. That'd be awesome. Um, but I thought I'd give some tips uh, for beginner runners. I've been an avid runner most of my life, but I've kind of haven't been into it the last few years and um, I just wanted to get back into it and challenge myself for the new year and set a goal to run at least a 5k on New Year's Day and then eventually get to half marathon and then a marathon. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share my journey with you guys and if you want to do it with me, that'd be awesome. I'd say my top tips would be get a good pair of shoes, a good workout set, you don't have anything fancy, just tight leggings that maybe have pockets or runner shorts and a very supportive sports bra. I think that's an essential for all bigger chest girlies and um, stay hydrated on your runs. I don't take creatine before my runs because I want to make sure I'm very hydrated and I personally fast before my runs but I recommend that you fuel up before your runs um, and post run have some sort of smoothie or protein shake or protein bar to recover. Um, and drink drink plenty of water uh, but yeah I'm sorry if I say um so much it bothers me too so if it bothers you I totally understand Hey guys, I just wrapped up my run and walk and it was such a great way to start the day. I'm feeling really refreshed, so I decided to head over to Earth Bar for a post-run smoothie. I went with the matcha frappe, uh, but to be honest, it wasn't my favorite, but it was still pretty good. Not something I'll crave every day, but if you love matcha, you might enjoy it. For lunch, I decided to try the viral cucumber salad. I put my own twist to it and added Greek yogurt for more protein and smoked salmon. I'll leave the recipe linked below so you can give it a try. It was so delicious. If you're craving something light and refreshing, this is perfect. For dinner, I made healthy coconut rice with satay chicken. It reminded me so much of my home in Singapore, even though this isn't a traditional Singaporean dish. It still hit all the right notes for me with that coconut flavor and peanut saute sauce with the cucumbers. It's one of my favorite dishes to eat when I'm in Singapore. And then to end the night, I treated myself to a peanut butter almond cookie. It's super simple, just peanut butter, almond flour, and honey, and they're so yummy. You can also add collagen or protein powder to your cookies. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like for more videos. Sending you lots of love and peace. Bye-bye.